Um, hello, hello, how are we all doing? Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> um, yeah, good morning everyone, let's see how we're going. Um, I'll just close that and see, and uh, yeah. All right, I'm just going to give everyone a moment to come and join me. Um, you know, it is, I am spot on 10 o'clock, so we'll see. Good morning. Good morning, Jan. Jan, I'll send that PDF to you. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it after the live. Good morning, Sylvia. I do have a very much needed frothy coffee this morning from my Starbucks Liverpool Cup. Liverpool Cup. Morning, Lucy. Hi from South Australia. A little bit that again hi from south australia looking forward to the women's soccer tonight at matilda go matilda's oh amazing finally sunshine camille yes there is we have sunshine and i've got to be honest a little bit of a breeze so it's like, like my ideal day so it's a bit of freshness and it's sunny so perfect morning kim morning ah oh, this is so much nicer than monday where it's like wet and gray wet and gray this is like warm and sunny which is really nice good morning trish good morning mandy hi come join us um uh morning jane uh, i do have my noisy little uh oh my gosh if i could show you what i can see right now i'm gonna just see if i can put my camera on and show you i don't know if you can hear i can see you the noise those of you who know me know i have a french bulldog and this is what is currently happening see if i can get her to what is that <laughs> she's like no i didn't <laughs> it's like don't embarrass me mother <laughs> also looking forward to the football good luck to the lionesses yes good morning elaine good morning Le oh, see what already 100 that's oh she's in the strop now she's like to mock me mother so Benny's coming in instead. Um, yeah, it's a bit rainy here in Perthshire, Scotland. Oh, little Savers. Yeah, she, she's gone off in a strop now. I've got Benny down here. Can you see Benny's head? Quick win, Ben. Right. All fun today. So <laughs> she's so cute. She is something. <laughs> um, now Benny's gone to get in her bed now. So can you see him in the background? Um, okay. So, my children have been sent to the front room, so we should have some quietness, um, and let's see what is going on. So, I am going to show you the project that we've got for today. We've got some chainmail with some microfaceted crystals, which is great. We've got a couple of different kit versions available, um, and it's a nice really easy um project for anybody to have a go at spiral weave it's a really really lovely chain mail weave um so i've just been prepping some uh open jump rings onto my desk to save some time because you do need to have all open jump rings for this good morning and sunny in yorkshire today <laughs> camille uh my dog buddy goes off in assault to his bed in the kitchen and he's been told off it's really funny isn't it what they do um so benny has now taken over her seat uh, in her bed and what she'll do a little bit later on is she'll come in and she'll be like mom move benny so i'll have to make benny move out of her, her bed um so she is a funny little thing but um <laughs> yeah whenever i do anything like i teach obviously i do zoom workshops i teach at a bead club i teach i, I come on live but whenever i you know whenever i'm finished and i go okay everyone thanks then okay see you later bye the moment i say bye it's like she knows and she jumps up and she's like me time <laughs> good morning sheila good morning carol good morning oh there's loads of you coming in today so it's so lovely to see you all um okay so i'm going to go and over to the kits that we've got available um i'm going to show you the project so let's just switch my camera over for you um do -do 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 -do. There we go. So the project that we have today is your lovely kind of classic uh, spiral chainmail weave. Now, the thing about the spiral chainmail weave is that it is one that you have to tend to intentionally twist to get it to keep this twist. There's almost like a DNA helix effect um, and you do have to twist it. So 
it's one of those where um unless you pre-twist it before you put it on as a bracelet say it will um it will unspiral but by doing it like this by putting these little micro faceted christmas crystals in the middle of it it helps it retain that twist and that shape um and it just looks really pretty doesn't it so this is the project that we're going to be doing today and i'm going to go through the kits that we have available um and we're going to go through this so i will say that we've got two kits that are um just waiting hopefully will be um coming in soon so this gold one is um coming up this was just used as a sample but i've got versions here uh morning angela will listen as i can as i can see very well yeah okay angela no problem morning jo joanne good morning laura and everyone beautiful bright bright beautiful sunshine in coventry this looks really fiddly but gorgeous i promise you it's not i promise you joanne this is like the easiest weave it's great i think for anyone um thank you camille i love this chain mail it's lovely uh it's great for anyone who wants to get started with chain mail the spiral weave is the easy is one of the easiest weaves to do i promise you and it looks so effective um you will of course get a video tutorial which is obviously going to be this video tutorial it will be available on the youtube um channel as well as the facebook but page for you to re-watch um i'm going to take you over to where the kits are now so you can get some more information so let's go on over to the um page bear with me i just pressed the wrong button uh okay so let's see what we can see um and it's oh hang on i'm gonna stop sharing that because I, I forgot to untab it I love chainmail so looking forward to this uh okay share the screen let's try that again um, just remember to do that and then that and then that okay so we've got here you can see so this was the project that we did monday and those of you who are watching i'll show you the finished silver piece that i started didn't quite get finished on monday i obviously did the cherry uh the pink one and then i did the silver one here we are savannah is by my feet now and that bunny has moved um <laughs> so that's the agate one from monday if you're interested in revisiting that that's a really lovely easy project and then here you'll see that we've got good morning olivia oh, can't see very well I had your cataracts done yesterday oh andrew i hope you um speedy recovery um and hopefully that's going to be a big improvement for you um, so you can see here we've got the spiral spiral micro crystal bracelets. So sad, it, go and sit down, sweet. We click on here. You'll see there's you're going to be your video tutorial, which will obviously be this. Um, and then you've got the kits that we've got available here. So let's have a little look. We've got four colorways at the moment. Um, thank you very much, Lucy. Lucy's very kindly put the link in for me. So if you want to go straight to it, you can just click on the link that Lucy has shared for us in the chat. Um, so let's have a look at the black one. Now, I do have the black one here. I haven't made it up, unfortunately. I haven't had a chance, but uh, I will make one up and I will share it. Now, with this one, you, you get um, three bags of your um so six mil outer diameter which is a four mil inner diameter uh jump rings you get some tiger tail you get some um two lobster clasps and uh some crimp beads and then you get two strands of the micro faceted uh crystal beads so what that actually does is enough for you to be able to create a necklace and a bracelet with these kits so there's a lot that you've got here so i mean um, and you can see at the moment that it's on offer for £8.9p. So you have it in the black colourway. And if we click back, yeah, Camille. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's really great advice. Take it easy and, um, yeah, just listen. And, you know, I'm always around if you've got any questions as well. Then we have the micro, um, we have the champagne and iris which is again just the iris colored um microfaceted crystals all the components are going to be the same you have three bags of your jump ring so you get approximately 150 jump rings in a bag and i can tell you now that that bracelet didn't even take one whole bag up so you get a lot so it does make a lot of uh jewelry um then again you have the rhodium 
and rainbow, which is what I'm going to be in the demonstration, uh, just because I think it's a good contrast for you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, and then we have the, and this is really, really pretty, and I'm definitely going to be making this up. Um, and I, again, I'll post pictures. Uh, but look at how pretty. And the reason I'm not demoing with this is just because I think it'd be difficult for you to see it on the screen um, but you'll see here that we've got the silver jumps and this beautiful strand of uh, crystals and I will show you them up close in a moment on the actual screen all of these kits are eight pound and nine p and as I said you have enough in there to make a bracelet and a necklace um, you know uh, so it's really really lovely you get two strands of crystals three bags of um, jump rings you then get your two lobster clasps and tiger tail plus you also get some crimps as well so a really really great little kit so i'm going to stop sharing that with you and i'll show you some of these kits up close so you can see sorry just side note and that's the um one that i started on sunday uh monday sorry on the monday live if you're interested go back and watch that um these were the agates with the um with the wire and we had a couple of different uh, variations only because they were right next to me. <laughs> okay, so let's just have a quick look at the kit. So I'm going to be demoing today with the um, rhodium. So you can see here I've got a pile of opened jump rings ready. I do want to open some more, so I'll do that in a moment while we're all just having a little hello. But I still have two more packs of these jump rings. I have two strands of these crystals. How pretty are these? When she focuses, there we go. And then, of course, you get your tiger tail plus you get some crimp beads and some lobster clasps so that's just this particular kit then um as i said you get the black okay let's just uh remove that bear with me one moment um sorry Let's just get rid of this, this comment. So you see on here that the we've got some, um, we've got exactly the same. You get it in the black. You get matching findings. Plus you get look at these these are crystals. How pretty! I know, right, Joanne? It is very rude. You're right. Um, so I've just hidden it um, and I'll, I'll speak to Totally B to get that removed. Um, so you can see here that we've got the, um, this is the rainbow crystals. So they're really pretty. Uh, so then the other version that we have is the champagne gold, which again is a lovely, slightly warmer toned. Uh, jump rings and again you have these I mean look at that as a contrast it's really beautiful just there and then I'll save the uh, the last one will be the silver and that one and I will of course put these um, up when I've made them I'll, I'll share them so you can see there and you've got look how pretty these are and again you've got that lovely silver that's really lovely bright i mean this is something i think would look lovely you know uh, for any kind of wear so let's go ahead and get started with what we're going to be doing as i said i'm going to be using the um the rhodium version just because i think oh, where'd i put the black one where are you oh i'll find it in a moment uh yeah i just think that the road oh there she is the rhodium is just a nice visual for you to be able to see. So you see here, I've got my um, jump ring opener. Uh, these are also available on the Totally Beads website. So let's see if I can. Um, with me one moment ah that's just okay cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some pliers so i just got distracted with that i just needed to remove that 
Um, and I've got here my um, pliers. So when you're doing any kind of change, you need two pairs of pliers. Now, I personally do tend to use my Zeron pliers just because they're pliers that I've used for a long time. However, just your good old fashioned chain nose pliers are absolutely fine as well. You can see here, I've just got two pairs of chain nose pliers. They are the same. This one's just a little bit bigger than this one. So any kind of uh, pliers will work. You just need two, but they need to be flat. So you don't want chain uh, round nose pliers. They need to be chain nose pliers uh, or flat nose pliers or, or sort of the same, just so that they've got a flat surface here. So we're going to go ahead now and just continue to open a few of these. So just to show you, because I think I forget sometimes that, you know, we have got a new audience or you might be new to this um, and we get a bit sort of like, oh, yeah, just open jump rings. Now, I open jump rings with jump ring opener by simply holding the uh, jump ring in my hand, find that join that sort of opening that seam um, now this is one that you do need all of your jump rings to be open for okay so apart from a couple at the very beginning the rest of them will be opened so you want to open all your jump rings head and then that just saves some time so find that sort of here pop it into my jump ring opener and i simply just bend my hand and that will be nice and open for me so let's go ahead and open a few of these and i love this kind of um, rhodium color it's a really great for your dense jewelry as well i find because it's got that slightly uh, less bright uh look i'm just going to open a few more of these because i'd like to be able to have enough to do the whole bracelet as i said you get approximately 150 in the bag um and you didn't i didn't use a whole bag to do that bracelet so um i did measure it once and i think 150 made 150 four mil in a diameter which is six mil outer jump rings makes a about a 12 inch length of spiral chain so you know you've got a lot to play about with here um so let's just just do a few more and then i'll be able to get started on showing you how we can connect uh you do i don't know if i mentioned but you do also get a pdf with this there's a pdf that i've done so that should help as well so let's just do a few more and i'll get started okay got that there so i might need some more but we'll see um everyone's gone really really quiet is anybody is everyone still there or we we just listening <laughs> i'm a bit worried where have you all gone um let me know if you're all still there give me a hi <laughs> um okay and then yeah so this afternoon i've got we're going to be doing a bead club project which i'm excited for we're doing a wire wrapped rock crystal um and then i'm going to go and take my kids out and meet at friends for a coffee or something <laughs> all busy watching but we're still here oh, as long as you're still there i just got a little bit worried especially comment i was like oh no have i have i done something hi leslie how are you um oh look you're coming back in now just making some jewelry while i watch ah oh, cool still here oh fab you know just when you look and because that person kind of jumped in um it just made me go oh has everybody kind of gone off and left us <laughs> um so uh leslie how is mac um leslie's just got a little new puppy um my friend has just got a little baby mini dash hound and we went around to see him on friday and he is the cutest and then my other friend has just gone and got herself a fluffy french bulldog so i need to make a trip to see him all these puppies around okay so i've got my um jump rings open here so i may need to open some more but for now i'm just going to go ahead and get started so what i'm going to do is put some glasses on so i can actually see what i'm doing they've gone now yeah thank you I, well i hid the, i hid the comment um and then i reported them so fingers crossed uh yes right hi lay <laughs> just been watching and listening you just know when you look and you're like oh am i on my own <laughs> moment of paranoia um okay so what i want to do is i'm going to 
I'm just going to use a large jump ring as like a um, um, as an opener as such. Give me one moment. So as a handle, sorry, it's an aluminium jump ring that I've just you you know wrapped a piece of aluminium around um, piece of aluminium around a um, whatever, and I've just got a large jump ring. So that's all it is. Max really good. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to just quickly check something, and and then I will able to get started with it there we go and that okay so the first thing is we will start with a um a few open jump a closed jump rings morning washing so just in time for the demo yes hi diane you are that's lovely for my talk cool so what i do is start off by taking a jump ring bear with me Okay, sorry, I'm just checking something before I go ahead with that. Okay, so I'm going to take an open jump ring and I'm going to attach a closed jump ring. Now, just another little side note when I say a, a closed jump ring, you still need to make sure it's properly closed. Because if I can get this to focus, can you see that that's not properly closed? So, this is very, very standard when you buy jump rings that you have some that are not. You know, some will be closed perfectly and others not. So just take a moment to close that. See how that's now nicely properly closed. So I'm going to take an open jump ring. And I'm going to just pop it onto my aluminium jump ring and close it. I'm going to have to switch my pliers over in a minute. These aren't my normal pliers. And you know what it's like when you um, use pliers that aren't your standard. In fact, like, let's just go ahead and switch back to my standard because otherwise I'll be... There we go. I'm going to have to just share that comment, Camille. Thank you. That's a really lovely comment. And you are 100% right. Totally be jump rings are great, nice and sturdy. You are 100% right. They are, oops, <laughs> sorry. I just pressed the wrong button then, Diane, sorry. Uh, sorting out paper flower kits for a group next Monday for the older people to make it church. That sounds lovely, Rachel. Um, okay, so we've got one and two. So I'm going to take another closed jump ring, uh, sorry, an open jump ring now, and I'm just going to pop that onto there. So basically, what we've got is a one, two, three linked jump rings. Close it nice and properly. So and if you can see when I'm closing that, I'm just giving it a little wiggle. I'm really making sure that that is nicely lined and closed properly. I'm going to put a piece of paper over my jump rings in a moment because it's just it's seeing a lot of this so it wants to just put the camera wants to focus in on that that's all that's happening there you go see how much better that was then so that's not my best closure so i'll just come in give it a little wiggle there we go perfect so one two and three hi patricia hello and good morning from new york <gasps> amazing uh still dark at out at 5 20 haven't caught a live in a long time wow welcome and thanks for joining me okay so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is i'm just going to put a little part of my open jump rings out of shot of the camera but within reach of my hand so i'm going to just explain something about chain mail um what there is a couple of references or terminologies that we'll use um and one of them is referring to the i when you're working with chain mail we refer to the eye and what we will do is either go through the eye or around the eye um, and on this one we're going to be going through the eye so i'm going to explain that so if i hold these in my hand so they kind of twist them so they're looking like this i'm just going to get that to go a little bit lower that's it so you can see right now if i do this um, can you see, hang on, bear with me. There we go. See that nice little circle in the middle? If I Even if I do it like that, you can still see that marquise kind of shape. Or it is an eye. You can see why it's referred to as an eye. I hope I make it without falling back to sleep. Well, hopefully you won't. Hopefully not, Patricia. Get yourself a nice cup of coffee. Um, 
so you can see here or t i don't know um you can see here so when i do that you can see that eye it is like an eye shape so when we refer to going through the eye it's literally going into that marquee shape so you see there with my pin my pin is going just right through the middle of the two jump rings but in that kind of marquise eye shape now i'm not i won't go into it too much but when you go around the eyes when you kind of go literally around it so you go through there and back up there but we don't need to worry about that for this one we just want to go through the eye so you can see there i've got my little um marquee shape so i'm going to go ahead and take another jump ring and i am simply going to pop it so this is all, all be open jump rings from now on as well just to clarify straight through that eye and then turn it around now i can let it all go because i'm holding it securely with my hand and i'm going to just go ahead and close that jump ring there we go now when you do this it's going to have created a little mobius okay so it's created a little mobius for us and you can see it's a mobius because they're kind of swirling around each other just here these last two so what i'm going to do again is take another open jump ring so i'm going to stop saying take another open jump ring they're all going to be open so i'm going to take another jump ring and i am going to go through the last two jump rings here so the mobius we've just created i'm going to now put another jump ring just through the middle so i'm actually collecting that mobius okay just those last two jump rings okay if you have any questions or i'm going too fast or you don't get it just shout okay and close and then when i lay that back down now you'll notice i haven't let go yet uh mandy good question this weave works in any size jump ring um but i would say your your smallest size would go be about a three and a half um millimeter so 3.5 millimeter would probably your the smallest you could go but large size you know the larger you go you can go up to any size you want um so 100 percent would work for seven mil in a diameter it works lovely just remember that the smaller it is the tighter the weave looks and it just looks a little bit more condensed um but yeah 100 percent you could do this in any size so you can see here now what i'm going to do is i am right-handed so you can see i'm doing a lot of control with my right hand um, obviously, if you're left-handed, just switch it around or, if you know, however works comfortable for you. I, I always try to encourage um, people to find a way that works for you. If it, if it works, then you just go with it, okay? So what I'm going to do with my right hand is I'm just going to kind of tip. So my right hand, I'm tipping it so that my jump ring is now going up towards away from me. Wow, okay, that's not nice. Oh, everybody's out today, aren't they? Excuse me a moment while we get rid of this person. Bear with me. Um, let's just block that. Let's report that. Um, what is going on? And see, hopefully that's gone. Has that lovely comment gone now? I apologise for that. That's just not nice. Oh, right, so sorry about that. So just tip that down like so. And now what we're going to do, and it's only on the very beginning that you, um, it's only on the very beginning that you won't see it as clearly. So I'm just going to tip it like this. And what you want to do, the next jump ring, oh my gosh. Um. Right, I'm just going to pause a moment and try and get rid of this. I've just blocked this person, so I don't know how that comment got block user on Facebook. That's just gross, though, isn't it? How disgusting is that? Right, well, I've just blocked them on Facebook, I think, hopefully. They are all out today, aren't they? Gosh! <laughs> Woof! Oh, gross. Um, okay. So I apologize for that. Um, okay, so what I want to do now, if I'm holding this in my hand, there's the Mobius. Give it a moment, it will focus. There we go. 
<laughs> Thank you, Lucy. It's just horrible, isn't it? OK, so we've got here the last jump ring here. And then we've got this jump ring here. So we've got the Mobius in the middle and then we've got the new jump ring we've just added. So that's the loose jump ring. So what you want to do is if you put a pin, can you see how if I do that, we've got another eye just there? Okay. <laughs> no, I tell you what would be helpful is if anybody sees it, if they can just report it and block it. Um, I'm trying. I've I've blocked it, but I don't know how it's still getting messages up. Um, so I've got a loose jump ring there, and then I've got that one just there. So that's where I want to add my new jump ring. So coming in, hold it in a way that it's comfortable. If I hold it like this, it's even clearer. So when you twist it like that, can you see? I want to go just in there. If I do that, there's the eye. Pop the jump ring through. Ah, oh, thank you, Phoenix Creations. They are out today, aren't they? Oh, okay, so just closing that one there. And again, what I'm doing is I'm just holding it. If you notice with my my pliers, I'm holding it like this. And then I'm almost going to sort of get this. And can you see? So if I do that, it looks like that. But if I do this and twist, can you see already we've got one part of our link already? OK, so then what we're going to go ahead and do is literally if i so again notice how i'm <laughs> troll patrol <laughs> um okay what is going on thank you uh tracy oh is that where it's coming from as well um okay so you can see here when i do this you can actually see the um the little um I just there and then again I'm just gonna put my new jump ring through and effectively yeah definitely Camille definitely effectively all we're doing right is adding so the key is to make sure you turn it every time so all we're doing is adding a jump ring for the last two jump rings so I turn it so I before I add the next jump ring before I let go I turn it so that I can hold it in my hand and I have still got that pattern so I will go ahead now and go through the last two jump rings and close. I put it down. I turn it back around so that when I put it back in my hand, it is uh, facing me and I can see I've got that twist right. Because the only thing that you can do wrong with this. OK, Christ, why are they all here? Okay, tried to block it. Okay, so no one's invented an auto washing hang up machine. Oh, but well you it'll be fine. Thing. This is a nice, easy one. So you can see here every time. So the only thing that could possibly is if you don't flip that jump ring back over. So can you see there it's lost its pattern? So when you do this, you just flip it around so that it's laying. And you can see just by doing that, and even if I let that go and it loses its shape, you just have to twist it. So you just do this. And then again, you can just continue. All you're doing is going through those last two jump rings. So effectively, what you're doing is going through the jump ring on the um, chain, which if you turn it again like so, you'll see that last jump ring there and loose and the loose jump ring. That's all you have to do. OK, so go through. And close. And then you notice every time I put my pliers down, I do not let the, the weave go. And then 
Oh, that's good because I've blocked them on Facebook, hopefully. So that's good. Um, so twist it. So every time I'm going through those two there. And then you'll notice, as I said, I keep hold I, I with my pliers in my right hand and then I'll reset it. So I'll retwist it and then I can just add my next one. Now, I quite like having the slightly larger jump ring. Like I said, I've made this out of aluminium wire, but I've made them out of normal wire before as well. The reason that I like them is because sometimes I can actually just put my hand in it and twist it like that. And it helps me sort of keep attention on it. Oh, oh, okay, Phoenix, I'll have a look at that. Um, oh, it's all gone a little bit wrong, hasn't it? Um, I'll have a little look. Uh, all because the trolls came out, eh? Ah, that's good. So I did that one wrong. And the thing is, I looked at it, I twisted it. How did I know I did something wrong? because it's not looking right and it's not twisting. And if you look, you can see that what I did wrong was I only went through one jump ring. Okay. Morning, Mina. Oh, that sounds uh, not very nice. Hope you're okay. So it was nice and easy for me to fix. Can you also see how much I've done so far as well, how quickly it builds? So it really is great. Now I'm going to show you it when it's relaxed. So when you don't twist it, it does. I still think it looks really pretty, even untwisted. Okay, but you are going to have to. So untwisted, it's going to look like this, but just a little twist. And you get that really cool effect. Oh, no. I don't know if there's a way I can undo it. <laughs> um oh okay all right um i'm not quite sure how i can fix that i'm afraid ah uh, i don't know just didn't want them to continue they just seem to be able to continue talking i mean they're not oh just gross um okay so we're just gonna do a few more of these and then what we'll do is I'll just undo the one I've got made up so that I can show you. Uh, so that I can show you. See in the Facebook messages, I think if you block on YouTube yourself, it blocks all messages from Facebook. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I'm just going to continue. I'll just do a few more because I want to show you how quickly it sort of does build up. And it's great if you sat down watching a bit of TV, it's making a really nice quick project. So just going around. And as I said, a bag of 150 will make about 12 inches. So you've probably got, um, you've got a nice, that you know, two bags will easily make a necklace. And you already know that a, um, one less than one bag will make a, a bracelet so you've got lots in this kit to be able to make a whole kit a whole suite with just catching those last two obviously you have to remember i've got a camera right above my hand so this is probably you know i'd sit and have this a little bit more sat in front of me like this it's a lot easier and just keep going around and then to them and so I'm just going to keep going a little bit more just to show you how once you sort of get into the uh, pattern of it, how quick and easy this is. Um, we had a question earlier on about whether we could use seven mil in the diameters. Yes, you can. Um, and I, I answered that. But what I was going to say was the smaller ones obviously show the weave a lot sort of more. Um, it just shows the weave a little bit more better maybe um it just shows it in, in a tighter sort of version but what it does is it's great for the smaller crystals as well because they sit beautifully in the smaller jump rings 
still looks a bit fiddly but you make it look easy and make sense thank you laura oh thank you joanne it really isn't um it's it's literally i'd say truthfully the trickiest part is probably just getting it started but all you have to remember is turn it so it's facing you so you've got the circle facing you and then your new jump ring literally just goes through the eye of the last two and that is all it is eye of the last two so close turn it so you know that you've got it right there it's facing me the circle's facing me eye of the last two and that is all it is it's just it's and i often say it you know if you have a go of doing this um then you'll find actually it's not as difficult as it kind of as you might think it really is a great easy one so you can see we're just going to keep going uh hang on. okay and then so already in that time whoopsie i've done about probably about two three inches so you can see already how quickly that builds this is a good sample to show you it's relaxed so when it's relaxed it looks like this and i still think it looks pretty even as a relaxed chain because you can still kind of see that pattern but it just takes a twist and it's there so if you did want this as a bracelet without the crystals in you you, you definitely could but you just have to twist it before you put it on and that's the only difficulty is keep it locked but what i'm going to go ahead now and do is i'm going to just quickly on this one to show you how we can bring it all together to get this connection so when it comes to the beads what you would do is just thread them onto some tiger tail and use a crimp bead to secure a little loop so we'll just take this one off very quickly and again you can literally see how nice and versatile these projects are so let me just undo that one So bear with me while I just, so here we have our, do not do what I'm doing, which is using my hand to, um, using my hand to open jump rings. Do not do that. Always your jump ring opener and pliers. Okay. So what you would do when you have it done, this is a whole, obviously a whole length. Oh, I see Camille's message. Ah, it's working. Love it how it twists. It looks fab. Oh, thank you. So there's your whole bracelet. And again, even as a whole untwisted bracelet, I still think it looks pretty. But so a couple of top tips when you make it, you do need to continue to twist it because it's going to be longer unsted than when it's twisted. So slightly longer. So just remember to twist it. Um, so I'm just twisting it around. Do, 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 do. It's like magic trick, isn't it? And there you have your twisted okay so when you're referencing the, the size thank you lucy yeah they are out in force today aren't they gosh we've been doing this for a, a while and that's the first time i've had that kind of amount of not very nice people coming in but um you know is what it is so you can see that so make sure you you've got it twisted and you're happy with the length of the bracelet okay so twist it and then you're happy with that length of bracelet and then this is where the fun part comes in <laughs> so there's your bracelet just there so then you simply i'm not going to re-thread all these on you don't need to watch me do that it's painful um but you know just a little loop at the end and a crimp when she focuses and then just thread all your beads on and then have a little loop so you want it to be about loops included a centimeter longer than your twisted bracelet okay mandy just had a go and it's so much easier than it looks isn't it mandy it really is it's just it's just definitely one don't you just have a go at doing it you'll be you'll be shocked 
Um, so twisted and including a little loop, you just want it to be a little bit tiny little bit longer, about a centimeter, if that. Um oh it's blue PT as hundred percent. It's the school holidays being <laughs> creations. That's gonna happen. Um so yeah. <laughs> Lucy, please have a go at this. I'm determined that you will. You, I'm going to make you love chainmail. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we've got this here. We've got this here. It's literally about a centimetre longer than the actual bracelet, including that loop. Um, I've been watching for a couple of years now. It's the first time I've seen messages like that. Uh, yeah, Tracy, I know. It's just not very nice, is it? It's interesting because of what I was talking about. Okay. It's interesting because what I was talking about referencing like the um, the eye of the the jump rings and everything else. And then those comments came up, which was a little bit like, hmm, are you going to show how to thread the crystals through? I, I'm not going to, for time wise, I'm, I'll, I'll show you how I started to do it. So I have a piece of crystal, because I, I was about to mention that to you, actually, how a, a little tip of how to get these crystals on. So... I just wanted to try and get the whole element in for you, Diane, that was all. Um, let me... Right. So you would cut your length of your um, tiger tail, pop on a crimp bead, create a little loop. Now you can pop a jump ring on now if you wanted to, a closed jump ring if you wanted to. And then just bring that over into so it's going back down through the crimp bead i'm going to slide it up so you've got a little bit of a loop and then i'm just going to use my pliers and flatten now you can actually because i was pleasantly surprised by these the drill hole these uh crystals so you can get the two you will be able to get it, I reckon. Come on. Onto the um, little tail end there. Little tip I discovered. The drill hole on these are really decent. But what I found the easiest way. Tiger tail. And the just literally. Straight through. And then I just put a little section on. Like so. see how much easier that is because if you're anything like me and you struggle to you know um get crystals onto the tiger tail or anything like that this was the easiest way literally feed those crystals on i kind of do it in little batches but if you take your time you'll be able to get them all on in one go if you can see that okay I just meant showing going through the jump ring in the pattern. Yeah, 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 I'm going to do that now. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm going to do that, Diane. Don't worry. That's my next step. Don't worry. Um, so you've got that here. I just wanted to show you this as well. A super easy way of getting them on. Straight away, I've got that much on. So that's really great. Okay, so just so that you can know a quick and easy way of how to thread the jump rings on. Uh, and I'm not going to quite go over the two, uh, that little short tail, but yeah. So that's a quick and easy way to get the micro uh, crystals onto the beading thread. Just literally straight onto the, uh, just take them straight off the strand. And then the final part. <laughs> Definitely. Um, okay, so we've got this here. So yeah, that was my next stage, Diane. You threw me. Um, so what we're going to do. Now, this may just be a tiny, just need to be a little bit uh, coordinated. I'm not the most coordinated, but it's just a little bit of finding a way that works. Um, I actually found, this is just a little board canvas that I've got here. Um, and I actually found, you can see where I did it just here. 
by putting my uh, like a pin okay so i can put that there and then what i'm going to do is pop a jump ring onto the end of my loop onto the end of my crystals and then let's see <laughs> no it's all right dad it just threw me i was a bit like oh um i thought you meant like am i going to show how to put the crystals on so um, yeah there we go so, so before i put that on there connect the jump ring onto the end of the crystals and add that just through the eye of the last two as if you were adding another jump ring so as if you were doing another jump ring just add that through Give it a moment it's got things in the background so it's having a moment okay and close and then pop that down taking a t-pin and i'm just going to sort of attach it to a macrame board or whatever you've got okay yeah yeah macrame board's perfect you like my bracelet Kill. um and then twist so this just gives helps you keep attention and just helps you control it so macrame board is perfect and then you just want to find a way that it works you may have to kind of go in a couple of different directions but that should do it so i've got this twisted so i'm just going to kind of wrap it around and wrap it around what i should have done before i um started twisting was i should have just put another jump ring on it but that's okay on the other end of the um crystals but that's all right don't worry it's still working all the way around all the way around all the way around it's just when you get to the very very end you just need to kind of try and keep it twisted and keep this going around. This is the only bit you're a bit like, oh, if it's like platin. Oh, and she can breathe again. <laughs> and there you'll see it's all locked in. And then you just want to hold that all nice and together at the end. I'll see if I can get it down a bit closer for you. And then I'm just going to take another open jump ring and just try to kind of collect the last two jump rings. And then that loop can you see that hopefully you can see when she focuses come on camera there and don't let it go like i just did because then you'll have to redo it remember as well you're not going to be working trying to show on a camera and everything else so it's gonna be fine there we go back through close and there is your and then here on this end here so we've got our two ends now so this is where you can just add your last two jump rings so on this one again i could just go through the last two but i'm actually just going to go for the last one because I want it to be the um, clasp. Now I could collect the loop from the tiger tail, or I could just um, go, just go straight through. But I'm gonna just collect that loop, give it a moment to actually focus. Hi, <laughs> you missed the start already. Yeah, so there you go. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, so there you go. So I've just gone through that last jump ring but what i've also done if i can just get the camera to focus come on camera come on why are you being naughty it's basically gone through the tiger tail loop it's going to focus in a minute for me and it's gone through i don't know why it doesn't want to focus today there we are thank you sorry about that so it's gone through the tiger tail loop 
and it's gone through um that one there um oh, i just broke my leaf that was my fault for messing i didn't put my crimp bead on properly but that was on me i didn't crimp it properly this is why we don't do things in a hurry there we go so just crimp it together pop your jump ring on pop your other jump ring on and pop on your um pop on your your uh clasp and you are done i'm just going to do this last little bit and that will be it let me just give that to go pop that on there there we are pop that on there close and then on that one there pop on your clasp along with that and you are done I don't know where my clasp has gone. There she is. Let's pop that onto there. And there you have your finished bracelet. All nice and done. That was just where I undid it properly. <laughs> I, I came on done there. But you just take your time. So it you do need to make sure it's locked in properly. If you don't lock it all in properly, that will happen. But that was just me rushing a bit towards the end. But hopefully that makes sense. There is a tutorial on it. Um, as I said, there is a PDF along with the kits. So if you purchase any of the kits, there is a PDF available. Plus there's this video. Um, I'm always around to help. You know, I'm always happy to, if you've got any questions, just ask. You have enough in these kits to be able to make a necklace and a bracelet. Um, you know, this is like fun. I'll be on a couple of kits off. Well, I'd love to see what you get up to, Olivia. Oh, that makes me really happy. I think you really should give it a go. It's really great. Ooh, really great technique. Um, and it's like you saw me open and close and do a few different things. It's one that you can really sort of play about with. I'm just going to redo that because it's going to bother me. Um, but, yeah, if you know, I'm on Facebook, as you know. I'd love it if you shared your makes. Let me know how you get on because I'm always around for any kind of questions um and just yeah so i can see how i can just kind of come along and fix this now that would bother me so i can just keep it twisted come back around there we go there we are now that'll be fixed now we all have our little things and that was going to bother me if i didn't fix that there we are now it's fixed and that'll hold into its shape so yeah definitely have a go let me know how you get on there we go it's twisted better now so you can see how easy it is as well to fix it that's better i couldn't leave it like that i didn't want you to think oh she hasn't done it properly you can do it properly you can just come back take a moment fix it up and there you go on there like so there now it's sitting exactly as it should just to prove that you could do it <laughs> um i'm off to give it a go while i watch matilda's ah oh, brilliant off to watch a game come on england take care everyone oh look i hope you've enjoyed it let me know how you get on and i will see you in a couple of weeks time with another lovely project um enjoy the rest of your day everyone good luck to the uh, england game and the um and i will speak to you all soon okay thanks everyone Bye.